Aston Villa are having a transfer window to absolutely adore and love. Starting it off, bringing in Ashley Young, a Premier League proven quality player, a Premier League title winner, and now they bring in Emiliano Buendia, the Championship Player of the Year. Then this morning, they go out and officially complete the deal of Leon Bailey, the Jamaican winger, the reggae boy of Bayern Leverkusen. And this morning, this afternoon, this morning, shocking the league, shocking the world, bringing in an elite striker, one of the best strikers in the Premier League, the highest non-penalty goal scorer in the league the past years, behind Harry Kane and Salah. They have signed Danny Ings from Southampton, the Southampton talisman, the Southampton number nine, and Aston Villa have absolutely pulled off the unthinkable. They have the details of the contract are all fully yet to be released, but it is rumored that they have signed him from thirty for thirty million. It is reported from the Athletic that it is thirty million pounds, and it is a three-year deal for Danny Ings, the twenty-nine-year-old striker from Southampton, will be signing a three-year deal for thirty million. And that'll turn make him stay at the club till he's 32. Guys, I just wanna I just wanna say hands down to a- Aston Villa. What a summer. They're going up there with with some of the best for summer deals, summer transfers. What a absolute steal of a deal this is for me, guys. Danny Ings, it was the quietest I've ever seen on a summer of Danny Ings. No conversations, no rumors. I know there's been rumors of him going to Tottenham. After all this Harry Kane stuff, I'm thinking he would be a great player for Tottenham. They get him on the cheaper side of things, have a lot of money left. But nope, Aston Villa said, nope, this he's ours. He's our player. And wow, all of a sudden I'm at work. I see this pop up my phone. Danny Ings signs for Aston Villa. Welcome to Villa. I'm like, huh? What, what, just, what a signing for Aston Villa. For me, Danny Ings coming in, you already have Ollie Watkins at the club. Maybe he'll stick with the 4-3-3, but not having a recognizable uh, cam and attacking midfielder. Yes, you can play Blondia there. But for me... I would love to see Dean Smith suit up in a 4-4-2. You play that solid back four with Tyrone Mings and Collins in the back line. You have a midfield two of, I'd love this, McGinn and Douglas Luiz, two workhorses in that middle who will not stop running and not stop winning you the ball back, and two guys who can pop it in from long too. And on the wing, you have Leon Bailey down the left flank, you have the likes of Bundia on the right flank, and then up top, you have two English strikers in Danny Ings and Ollie Watkins. If you think of the finishing ability, the pace, the speed, the pressing, this team is going to be outstanding. I, I'm, I'm completely changing my prediction for Aston Villa. I have them in the Europa League spots now, guys. This changes my whole theory on Aston Villa. Wow. I'm, I'm putting them straight into sixth, maybe even fifth. I think Dean Smith can work a miracle here. And this is outstanding what they've done now, Aston Villa. The transfer business. Bringing in likes of Danny Ings is just a statement. Leon Bailey was a statement for me. Emiliano Buendia was also a statement for me. And now Danny Ings, a top, top elite striker in the league. One of the best finishers in the world for me. I just don't know how they've done it. Hands down to Villa. Hands down to you guys. Villa fans, please hit the comments and let me know what you guys are thinking. Because I'm not even a Villa fan and I'm over the moon for you guys. I'm absolutely over the moon for Aston Villa. They, they were a team with such history, such rich, rich history. And they've rekindled it and brought themselves back to where they belong. And I think Danny Ings has seen this project this summer and been like, I want to be on board. I know Grealish is more than likely going to sign with City. But wow, could you imagine Grealish didn't sign for City? This team would be outstanding. But a grealish list Aston Villa is looking like a better side than a Grealish at Villa for me. It'll be more of a team game and more of an actual team game. I just want to talk about Danny Ings quickly since it's a Danny Ings transfer uh, video. 29 games in the league last year, totaling 12 goals and 4 assists. That is unbelievable for a guy who didn't play every 38 games last year. And he does have injury problems too. But you also have Wesley there who can back him up. Keenan Davis. Great great that they brought him in. Obviously, he does have injury scares. Because he is an absolute workhorse. He works his behind off all game, Danny Ings, guys. I just want to talk about a couple stats here. 82nd percentile for strikers for tackles. 99th percentile for blocks for strikers. That puts him at 1.95 per game. Basically, two blocks per game. What Aston Villa are getting here is a striker who doesn't stop working. A striker who's going to press those back lines all game. He's not going to stop running. He's going to press the goalkeeper when the goalkeeper is keeping it on the floor. Trying to waste time. Trying to 
make that pass. He's going to press the back line when the back line is trying to knock it around. Him and Ollie Watkins would be beautiful up front as a two. In a 4-4-2, I believe that it was going to be one of the best teams to watch in the league if they can play a 4-4-2. And just the just sheer finishing ability Danny Hanks has, guys. I am so excited to see an Aston Villa team with a Danny Hanks. Danny Hanks can score long shots. He works his, at, his behind off defensively. He doesn't stop working. His finishing, his composure is elite. It is top, top drawer. Guys, I, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I just want to say... Hands down to Aston Villa. I'm sure there's going to be more to come, but Danny Yang's tops, tops it off. Cream of the crop. Guys, Villa fans, everyone, let me know what you guys think of a Danny Yang's to Aston Villa deal here, guys. 30 million, three years. What do you guys think of that contract? What do you guys think of the price for Danny Yang's? And what do you guys think of Villa's potential for this year? Because I think they got this the world ahead of them this year. And it's going to be fantastic to watch Villa. But guys, I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Hit the comment, hit the like button, and hit the sub button because I'm loving everything on the channel so far, guys. More content coming out for you guys straight away. Pumping out the content like never before. But guys, hope you guys are having a fantastic day, and I'll see you for the next one. Peace.